Hello everybody. Now that we have seen what are assertions, what are listeners, we created a basic uh, performance test. Now uh, it's time to see further uh, into performance and uh, we are going to see how we can apply performance to a deeper level. So uh, I have recorded this basic script using uh, pet store. Uh, I could not find a downloaded pet store so I used this one. This is a demo pet store that was available on the net and I will just show you how this looks like. It's very much similar to the J pet store application that is available uh, when you download it from github. So this is how it looks like. This is the one. It's it's actually a replica of that application. So if you click on cats, then it gives you a page that has cats and the product ID and the name. If you click on the product ID, it will give you this one. And then once you add to cart, it will add that particular uh, item to cart. So we are going to uh, see till this page. We are going to navigate till this page. We are going to record the actions and then we will be uh, doing a performance test on, the, on that. So I have recorded the actions till that page uh, through bad boy um, in this script and this is a recorded script. So it, uh, it puts everything in its place like the server name and the path and everything and then I have parameter. I am. Uh, I have. I have hard coded the values for now. Like the category ID is cats. Currently, here I have put category ID. I have put the product ID corresponding to the category ID of cats. That is FL DLA zero two. And here I have put a response assertion in which I am checking whether the cat is whether a Persian cat is available as an item on the items page. So I believe everything is clear till now. If you if you are unclear, then please post a comment as to what explanation further explanation you need to have, and I will send you an email on that. And then uh, the last page is add to cart, where we are just uh, putting the item ID. So I will uh, show you how to do correlation. Now, what is correlation? Correlation is dynamic uh, parameterization. Static parameterization is uh, one in which we just substitute the hard coded values with variables. Variables we can pass through a CSV config file. Uh, CSV config file I am covering in a different video. So we can uh, do that through a CSV config file. And it's just, uh, uh, it's called a static parameterization since we are not passing values from one request to another. Now in correlation what happens is we pass values from one request to another and here if you notice we have cats hard coded as a category ID based on this cats the next page is uh, loaded with the products corresponding to cats. So this is hard coded as well and I have put a response assertion over here saying that it's a Persian cat that needs to be available on the items page. So now let's run this. I have put a view results tree. Uh, I will clear the results. I ran it earlier just to verify. Now if we run this, what do you think will happen? Let's see. It runs fine. The reason is uh, we hard coded cats in the product page and it sent cats as a response by which it fetched the next set of items corresponding to cats and uh, the next set of items contain FLDLA02 which was the item code for a Persian cat. Okay, if you go and look over here, FLDLA02 is a Persian cat. So, so that, that is the reason why it passed. Now if we change this to something else, say we put, uh, let me go back to our site. I will go back. 
and let me select reptiles instead. Now what if I put iguana in my response assertion? Let's try it out. Iguana. So definitely this is going to fail since we are not having iguana in our response because we are passing parameter as hard coded value cats and it should fetch all the cat items. Instead we are verifying whether iguana is present on the next page. So it should definitely fail. Let's see whether our assumption is correct or not. We clear the results and we run it. Yeah, there you go. It fails. Let's see what the failure reason is. We got a response assertion failure. Test failed. Text expected to contain iguana. So that is the reason it failed. What should it have contained instead? It should have contained something like Persian, which we had earlier. So do you notice uh, we are doing a lot of manipulation in the textual values here uh, instead of uh, doing uh, instead of having uh, values passed from one request to another. We are doing a lot of manipulation work here. We are changing values from one page, then we are changing values on the next page. So in order to avoid this, we need to pass values from one page to another as a form of response so what do you need to do that that is what is called as correlation let's see how to do that first we will create a uh, csv file so i will i will cover csv file as well in this video how to do csv config so you click on thread group you right click on that you add a config element and you add a csv data file you know. Now uh, you, you are going to put it in the bin directory itself. So put it something like uh, pet names, pets. It should be a comma delimited and put it something like uh, category, right? It's our product ID. So let's put as product or maybe category id cat g cat g id okay so this is our variable name since we own since we will be having only one column it's uh, there is no need of a delimiter so now let's create our csv file we open a uh, word uh, excel We don't need to have a column name like we have it in QTP uh, since uh, uh, JMeter takes care of the column handling. Okay, so now let's put a couple of items here cats, dogs, birds, fish. And what did we have? Reptiles, I think. Yeah. Reptiles. So let's copy this for a several times so that we have plenty of data and we don't end up having to repeat it. Since we'll be uh, giving more number of users. So we need plenty of sets of data. Okay, that should be enough for now. And I save this file in the same bin directory of uh, JMeter 3. I save it as, uh, I will save it as a uh, CSV file. So let me see where I find CSV file. Okay, 
we have it over here so we put a csv comma delimited this is the one we need to select put it uh, under our c colon and then apache j meter 3 bin this is our pets So it will bring up this error so say just say ok and yes and you go yeah. so we have our uh, file ready now and, uh, ok so our file is ready let's put a cs okay so file name is pets the category id um, so now we have to use this category id where we use the hard coded value of cats here so how do you use a variable here now dollar curly brace cat g what did we name it cat g id okay. so this is how you use your uh, csv file in order to send multiple sets of data uh, we are all set with this point now it's the uh, time to do dynamic uh, parameterization correlation so let's uh, look into that now and uh, we have uh, this one fl we are passing it from the csv file over here we get cats for example then uh, it should have a dynamic value here also so in order to do that when we pass values from here we need to put something called as post processor and this is a regular expression extractor what this will do is it will extract the item from the request and send it to the from the response and send it to the next request so here we need to add okay uh, before we add this one uh, let's save our response to a file okay so we will come to know what our response is so before we extract values from here from this response we need to save it uh, we need to save the previous uh, response to a file this is cats so we get a value from here 